and Alex do an unbelievable job in the recovery side and the preventive side of it and, and the training side of it. But a lot of it has to do with, with the guys, too. They have to take some accountability in their nutrition, in their rest, and, um, and that's something I've really challenged this group with. And that's where I think you're seeing the change in, like, Bernie Stewart's body, for instance. When you see him compared to last year at this point, you're going to be like, wow, like, like, you can see the transformation. But he's taken another step in his nutrition. Uh, Megan does an unbelievable job with, with our nutrition staff, and, and they've really bought into uh, her plan and her ideas. And the same thing with Sage, you're going to see him. Man, he, he looks different. Um, so the whole room is really bought in to not just, hey, I need to go work hard in the weight room, but, but, and that's never been a problem. But I got to work hard in the weight room, and I got to fuel my body the right way. I got to rest my body the right way. And then all of that ties into you know, staying healthy. At the end of the day, football's a contact sport. You're going to get banged up, and there are going to be some injuries that nothing could have prevented. Uh, but you can, you can help yourself, and they've done a good job of that. A couple of things that make this offense so hard to defend. Number one, presentation, what you see with the motions and the shifts and things like that. And then number two, finding the matchup. Yep. How does somebody like Jake present a little bit of a nightmare for, for opposing defenses in that regard? I think with him and his skill set, um, you can get in a bunch of different formations. You can get in a bunch of different um, you know, concepts, whether it's pass or run, and not have to change out your personnel based off what you're trying to do in that concept. So it's having another wide receiver on the field, but he's a tight end. And he can go in the box and, and, and still hold up in the run game and do what you got to do in the run game. But if you're not changing out your tight end a lot and being able to set up a tendency with, hey, they only do this with, with four wide receivers. Um, well, now you leave him in the game and they can't sit there and go, well, they're only going to do this. No, the whole playbook's wide open because of his skill set. Uh, and, and then the flip side of it is, is, like I said, you're not locked into a run-pass situation with a guy like him. The whole thing's available, um, and, and you can rock the roll with it. So I think that's the hardest thing when you got a guy like him that's, that's a matchup problem. It's still being able to run your entire system without having to set up some tendencies. And he's, he's a big-time tendency breaker when it comes to uh, – what he brings to the table. And 6'6", 6'7", 235, or whatever. Yeah. Does he compare to anybody? Does he kind of remind you of anybody? That, that's, he's, that's a big tight end. Yeah, he, he's, I was just telling the radio, I mean, he's got a, a rare skill set and rare athletic ability for this position. Um, you know, they, there's not a lot of, a lot of running schools running around to go recruit, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about him taking the next step. Like, like I said, he's done an unbelievable job taking the next step in his in the transformation of his body and committing himself to the nutrition side of it. He's really taking off, and all that's going to do is just help him on the field um, continue to be matching the problems. Kyle, there's been a lot made over the years of how Dabo brings in assistance, homegrown connections, you know, guys he's known for a while. Harris Garrett fit in so far with uh, with all the Clemson guys. Yeah, I mean he's he's been awesome. Uh, he's he's a down to earth guy and uh, you know, we've we've all meshed very well together, offensive staff with him and, and you know you wouldn't you wouldn't think that, that you know, we haven't been together for a long time, um, you know, so it's been awesome. And, and that chemistry and that connection only helps um, with our players. And, um, you know, he's a great teacher and, and just um, coming in and, and bringing in this system. You know, I, I knew a lot of it already. Um, but, you know, I haven't been in it in the last seven or eight years. So there's tweaks and there's, you know, things that he does different. And it's been great for me. Uh, to learn from him, and I'd say that was the biggest thing that I've kind of taken from him is, is coming in with a new staff, him not knowing anybody, and just coming in and just going to work and teaching. You know, he taught the, the offensive staff first, and then we turned around and went and taught the players. And, uh, and we've continued that this summer. You know, that hasn't stopped. Uh, we just spent all day yesterday just watching all our spring cut-ups and just talking through them. What questions do you have? Uh, 
is there something that you see different than I do that maybe we need to tweak? Um, so it's just been the, the collaboration has been really good. Um, so it's, it's been great. First time that you sat down to talk football with him, did you kind of smile and go, hey, we speak the same language? Well, it's, it's funny because um, I was – you know, kind of before I met with him, I was kind of refreshing my myself because, like I said, I haven't been in it. I was in it for 13 years, and then I haven't been in it in seven or eight years. So I found a notebook that was uh, the first time I sat down with uh, Matt Mummy, Hal Son, and, and Gary Goff, who's the head coach at New State. The first time I sat down with them and, and met Hal and learned the offense, I, I found my notes. And at the top of the page, it said, uh, I think it was like February 6, 2006. Uh, so, you know, the first time I met with Garrett to talk football back to this system was in February of uh, 2023. Excuse me, it was February 2003. And then uh, February 2023 is what I wrote at the top of my page as we started discussing the offense again. So it's kind of cool, it's 20 years later, you know, Certain things were still and certain things 20 years later. And I also thought it was just cool, you know, February of 2003 to February of 2023, uh, that's 20 years, and, and now I'm at Clemson, and, and I'm getting ready to, to jump back into this system. So it's pretty uh, pretty fun, pretty exciting. Have you seen, have, have the guys, the, the players, taken to it pretty well? I mean, you've only had spring to yeah. really evaluate, but so far, so good. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've I saw in the spring, you know, just kind of a twinkle in their eye that was a little bit different, and and it's always kind of exciting when you have change, um, and and you get to learn something new and grow, and um, I think they've done a great job with it. I haven't seen them this summer, uh, but just from what I'm hearing this summer, I mean, they're out there having a ball with it, and uh, it's going to be fun to get on the field.